Hey guys, now, you're probably expecting us to talk about a different live, but we aren't. We are We are talking about Natasha Cooper. Now, yeah. we've only seen Natasha Cooper live a few times, and she is so interesting. Like, the information that she has is amazing, isn't it, Mars? Yeah, it is. It really it is. is. The way she answers questions, she's very precise, she's very, very knowledgeable. Yeah. We don't know her backstory. <laughs> we no, don't know no, people. No, we don't. We, we don't, don't know people, but <laughs> what we've listened to and heard of Natasha you Cooper... Know, we're here for the is, information. Yeah, so. her information is brilliant. Nick was sitting in the taxi with the taxi driver. Gypsy was inside the house, alone. Natasha Cooper said, and I didn't know this, maybe you guys did, that Gypsy Rose was alone for 45 minutes in Ooh. the house after the unaliving yeah. of Dee Dee, while Nick was speaking to the taxi cab driver. Yeah, so I Nick, didn't know that no, either. No, I didn't know that. Yeah, I thought that was interesting. This was so interesting, guys. So mm. what happened was Nick left the house with Gypsy's bags yeah. after he unalived Dee Dee, mm. and he spoke to a taxi cab driver for 45 minutes. And she was doing something in the house. For 45 minutes. What was it? I what was she doing? It wouldn't be to clean up because no. she'd already done that when she was naked. Yeah. With Nick watching. So it wasn't That's to clean up. So what was she doing? Gypsy was inside the house alone for 45 minutes while Nick was outside in the cab with the cab driver. The cab driver has given a statement to that and corroborated Nick's statement. What do you think she was in there doing? during that 40 to 45 minutes. Yeah, I didn't know this. This is new information to us. Mm. Now, there's some other information that we found interesting. Do you want to explain it, Mars? So the, what, what we're going to... Yeah, let's, let's play it. Let's play the clip. We'll watch it together yes. and then we'll address it. But yes. yeah, let's watch it together, guys. Play, Mars. The fact that Dee Dee didn't buck Nick off like a bucking bronco when he got on her back. That is one of my biggest questions. And I even, like I said, I asked Nick that. I, I asked him, you mean she didn't even try to throw you off? Because I've said this repeatedly, I'm a big girl. I take sleeping medications and I, there's no way that if somebody who weighs 185 pounds climbed on my back, I wouldn't know it. So I am very, very, very anxious to see the autopsy report and her toxicology. Now, I do know that she moved, but Nick said it was more like a wiggle. And if somebody's on your back stabbing you, sawing the back of your neck to the point that you're almost decapitated, The toxicology reports haven't been released because of Nick's appeals process. No, I do not think she passed quickly. Mm -mm, I do not at all. And I will tell you why I don't think she passed quickly. Nick said the reason that he decided to cut her neck was because he didn't think she was dying fast enough. Ooh, that was and he didn't enough. want her that to suffer more than she had to. This is the third time I've watched this, and each time I am queasy because <laughs> yeah. it's just, it's horrible. It's it absolutely, I can't disgusting. stomach stuff like this at all. It's terrible, absolutely terrible. A few moments later. Okay, guys. So Natasha Cooper states that because Dee Dee is a larger lady and Nick weighs 184 pounds, which is about 85 kilograms, she doesn't understand why Dee Dee didn't start bucking yeah. Nick off of her. Do you know what I mean? When we were talking about it before, mm -hmm. I was saying how since I am obviously larger, in case you didn't notice, because you can't see, <laughs> yeah. uh, <laughs> obviously I'm bigger and you, you couldn't understand yourself because you're so skinny and all, yeah. that as a bigger person, I sink in the bed. Mm -hmm. And I also don't have, like, when I'm in bed, I get back pain and all that sort of thing. So it's actually hard for me to move by myself, yeah. let alone having somebody on my back. So if I was Dee Dee and I was in the bed, laying down and someone was on top of me, I probably would struggle trying to buck them off as well. Yeah. I probably wouldn't have the strength to actually buck them off. It would be a struggle. I don't know. Because we're thinking about this because I have a very firm new bed. 
Like it's an ensemble. It's very firm. It's, it's not glorious. Firm. <laughs> it's I love my bed it's firm so much. For you because yeah. you are lighter. Yeah, I sink down. Like yeah. sometimes, like when she first got to bed, I'm like, oh, I'll try it out. Mm -hmm. So I sat on it. I'm like, oh, I can't. I, I she actually be able to sleep sunk in, there. in the bed. No, I while can't I'm hovering stand on it. top of it because I feel like yeah. it's a very firm bed. And I'm sinking right in. I'm like, no, 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 no. I need a real firm bed because yeah. of my weight. So we were thinking maybe. Apparently, Dee Dee's bed is was a lot of people were saying when I was reading in the past. Yeah. Dee Dee's bed was sinking bed. It wasn't. It wasn't a firm bed. Yeah. So maybe Dee Dee was, you know, sinking into the bed. Yeah. And so when you she sink would into be the hard bed, hard to move again. Yeah. Because when Marzi sinks into my bed, she cannot move. Mm. She cannot get off my bed <laughs> at all. Let her own move. Yeah. And that's so by myself without somebody on top of me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. So we were thinking maybe that's the reason why Dee Dee didn't move yeah. when Nick was on top of her. Because we're trying to think, why didn't she? Because we thought about this as well, Natasha. We thought, why didn't Dee Dee buck Nick off? Yeah. Why didn't she, you know... Because even rolling over, sometimes I struggle with that. There is not one doubt in my mind that by the time Dee Dee passed, she knew that Gypsy was responsible. As soon as she figured out that it was Nick, she knew that Gypsy was responsible. So yeah, what Natasha said was really interesting. And also like what she said, she's hoping to see the toxicology report. Yeah. Which we're interested to see as well, because maybe there was something in Dee Dee's system that maybe stopped her from fucking Nick off, mm. you know? But I just thought, you know, I'd put my little opinion in there too, because if it was me, mm. I wouldn't be able to get up regardless. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, you know, so I Marzi's talking about it from her larger perspective. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So we don't know. We don't know until no. we get the... The report back and if it does come back that something was in her system then maybe maybe someone uh slipped us something beforehand mm. don't know i said victor will you please come kill my mother for me yeah so let us know your thoughts guys what do you think why was gypsy and what was she doing for 45 minutes yeah. when nick was talking to the taxi cab driver i find that <laughs> yeah, strange it is weird i find it strange that he was talking to the taxi cab no, driver for she 45 wasn't minutes. cleaning nick already had her clothes no so what was she what doing? was she doing guys mm, i don't know what yeah. do you think she was doing i don't know i really don't know <laughs> i have no idea i'm living it up to you guys and mm. you guys tell us so let us know your thoughts, guys, because we're going to watch some more of Natasha Cooper because she spoke for five hours and you guys sent me the link to watch it. So I'm going to watch it. I'm going to find out a little bit more because she mentioned someone. She mentioned someone. Dan Glidewell. Oh, yeah, you're back on that. Yeah. <laughs> I have been obsessed with David Blanchard since yeah. January. That's why I asked you guys to watch um, the videos that we did in February about David Blanchard. And I'm more obsessed with David Blanchard than I am with Dan Glidewell mm. because... There's a lot. Yeah, you, you think there's more to that. Yeah, I feel like there's a lot more to it. I yeah. really, really do. I've always been a stickler yeah. with David Blanchard <laughs> and then a little bit of a stickler for um, Dan, Dan Glidewell. Glidewell. So let's know yeah. your thoughts, guys. Thanks heaps. Thanks.